by 20 times faster than the speed of sound. Russia has repeatedly stated that it is developing hypersonic weapons to ensure Russian strategic forces can penetrate future U.S. air and missile defense. The missile previously known as Object 4202, U-71, and U-74, is a Russian hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, that can be carried as a MIRV payload by the UR-100 UTTKH, R-36M2 and RS-28 Sarmat heavy ICBMs. It can deliver both nuclear and conventional payloads. The Avangard has a range of over 6,000 kilometers, weighs approximately 2,000 kilograms, and can carry a nuclear or conventional payload. One TASS report said that the HGV's nuclear warhead is more than 2 megatons in TNT equivalent. As a boost glide weapon, the Avangard is carried to its apogee by a ballistic missile. This carrier is currently the SS-19 Stiletto, UR-100 NUTTH, but will later be replaced by the R-28 Sarmat. Russia had initially planned to mount the Avangard on the Road Mobile RS-26 Rebesh, SSX-31, but chose to use the silo-based R-28 Sarmat after the Rebesh was delayed due to financial constraints. Once boosted to its suborbital apogee of around 100 kilometers, the glide vehicle separates from its rocket. It then cruises down towards its target through the atmosphere. In his March 2018 speech, Vladimir Putin claimed the HGV can maintain atmospheric speeds of up to Mach 20, 6.28 km per second and can maneuver. This maneuverability could make Avangard's trajectory unpredictable, complicating intercept attempts after its boost phase. There are no publicly available images of the Avangard HGV. According to one report however, it is likely either a short wedge-shaped design, or a shuttle with small stabilizer wings, which is installed in the head of the launch vehicle. The HGV likely does not employ a propulsion system, relying on gravity and its aerodynamic features to maintain speeds and altitude. The Avangard is a nuclear-capable, hypersonic boost glide vehicle developed by the Russian Federation. It was one of six next-generation weapons described by Russian President Vladimir Putin. Russia deploys Avangard hypersonic missile system. Russia's first regiment of the Avangard missiles has been put into service, the defense ministry says. The location was not given, although officials had earlier indicated they would be deployed in the Urals. President Vladimir Putin has said the nuclear-capable missiles can travel more than 20 times the speed of sound and put Russia ahead of other nations. They have a glide system that affords great maneuverability and could make them impossible to defend against. Defense Minister Sergei Shoigo confirmed the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle entered service, calling it a landmark event. Mr. Putin said on Tuesday the Avangard system could penetrate current and future missile defense systems, adding, not a single country possesses hypersonic weapons, let alone continental range hypersonic weapons. The West and other nations were playing catch-up with us, he said. Mr. Putin unveiled the Avangard and other weapons systems in his annual State of the Nation address in March 2018, likening it to a meteorite and a fireball. In December 2018, the weapon hit a practice target 6,000 kilometers, 3,700 miles, away in a test launch at Dombrovsky Missile Base in the southern Ural Mountains. The Avangard is invulnerable to intercept by any existing and prospective missile defense means of the potential adversary, Mr. Putin said after the test. Mounted on top of an intercontinental ballistic missile, the Avangard can carry a nuclear weapon of up to 2 megatons. Russia's defense ministry has released video of the Avangard system, but weapons experts have expressed skepticism about its effectiveness. In a statement, the Pentagon said it would not characterize the Russian claims about the Avangard's capabilities. The U.S. has its own hypersonic missile program, as does China, which in 2014 said it had conducted a test flight of such as weapon. On November 26, Russia allowed U.S. experts to inspect the Avangard under the rules of the 2010 New START Treaty, an agreement that seeks to reduce the number of strategic nuclear missile launchers. The New START Accord, which expires in February 2021, is the last major nuclear arms control treaty between Russia and the U.S. In August this year, the U.S. withdrew from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, INF, which was signed by U.S. President Ronald Reagan and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev in 1987. 
U.S. President Donald Trump said he wanted a new nuclear pact to be signed by both Russia and China. It is hard to determine if Russia's new avant-garde hypersonic missile system really has entered service, as Moscow claims, or if this is just an advanced phase of field testing. But President Putin's eagerness to claim bragging rights is to some extent justified. Russia looks to be ahead in the hypersonic stakes. China is also developing such systems, while the US appears to be somewhat behind. Hypersonic missiles, as their name implies, fly very fast, at above Mach 5 i.e. at least five times the speed of sound. They can be cruise-type missiles, powered throughout their flight. Or, they can be carried aloft on board a ballistic missile from which the hypersonic glide vehicle separates and then flies to its target. Such boost glide systems, as they are known, Avangard appears to be one of these, are launched like a traditional ballistic missile, but instead of following an arc high above the atmosphere, the re-entry vehicle is put on a trajectory that allows it to enter Earth's atmosphere quite quickly, before gliding, unpowered, for hundreds or thousands of kilometers. It is not so much the speed of the hypersonic weapon alone that counts. It is its extraordinary maneuverability as it glides towards its target. This poses a huge problem for existing anti-missile defense systems. Indeed the glide vehicle's trajectory, surfing along the edge of the atmosphere as one expert put it to me recently, presents any defensive system with additional problems. Thus, if Russia's claims are true, it has developed a long-range intercontinental missile system that may well be impossible to defend against. The announcement that Avangard is operational heralds a new and dangerous era in the nuclear arms race. It confirms once again President Putin's focus on bolstering and modernizing Russia's nuclear arsenal. It's indicative of the return of great power competition. Some analysts might well see Russia's development program as a long-term strategy to cope with Washington's abiding interest in anti-missile defenses. The US argument that these are purely designed to counter missiles from rogue states like Iran or North Korea has carried little weight in Moscow. This all comes at a time when the whole network of arms control agreements inherited from the Cold War is collapsing. One crucial treaty the New START agreement is due to expire in February 2021. Russia seems willing to extend the agreement, but the Trump administration has so far appeared skeptical. With a whole new generation of nuclear weapons at the threshold of entering service, many believe not just that existing agreements should be bolstered, but that new treaties are needed to manage what could turn into a new nuclear arms race.